لما زفعت سالك فكرت أنا في سكتتي Leave each other. Our souls were bound together. I loved you and hated you for years. You were a part of me. Jody. Growing old. I love you. So many things I still have to do.
Wake Jody, wake up. Jody, wake up. There's a world out here, a whole universe of forests and lakes and mountains and rivers. It's all around us. You just have to listen carefully to hear its whisper. Neither heaven nor hell. There's no god or devil. Just a place where we continue to exist after we die. My soul explores it endlessly, and I've still only seen a fragment of it. I can be everywhere and nowhere. I can dissolve into nothing or become whole again. I can merge my soul with others or, or be more alone than any human being has ever been. All this is possible merely by the force of my will. I continue to look through to your world. I watch over those I love. I'd like them to know I'm there, that I'm okay. To hold them in my arms one more time tell them how much I miss them. But I have to settle for being close by. Invisible. Transparent. No more than a fading memory. I know what has been and what is yet to be. I know all the possibilities. I can see the darkness coming. I must stay a while longer. There is still a part to play. Before I can leave to discover what lies. Beyond. Sometimes, I could spend hours staring into space, watching the images as they go by. I play over and over again, like a TV that's never turned off. I don't know why I'm seeing all this, but there's one thing I do know. 
it all really happened. When I'm alone, I listen to the voice inside my head. She talks to me. She says there are things I need to know. Sometimes I shut my eyes and it's as if I could fly. I can go through walls. I see beautiful colors around people and I discover faraway places without ever leaving my room. The voice told me not to tell anyone. I'm really scared, especially at night when I'm alone with the shadows. There are things moving in the darkness, strange noises, whispers in the dark. The voice says it's nothing, that it'll all go away but she won't tell me what these things are. And I'm too scared to ask. I often have the same dream. Everything seems so real. The sounds, the smells, the light. Deep down, I know it's not just a dream. It's like an echo, an echo of things to come. I must get ready. I know there's not much time. There's only one thing I can be sure of. I will never be alone again. Ever since the Black Sun was destroyed, my memory has been disintegrating. I spent too much time on the other side. 
Now it's eating away at my mind, erasing what's left of it. My memories are all confused, slowly self-destructing, fading like a dream when you wake up. I'm losing my sense of time. I no longer know what happened before or after. Everything's playing inside my head at the same time. It's like watching the same film looping over and over again. A chaos of images with no order. So I've been writing night and day for weeks. Trying to put my life down on paper. If I forget everything, these pages will be my memory. Three months after the fact, the investigation continues in an effort to determine the cause of the accident that cost 283 lives on a Pentagon military base. Government representatives confirm that the authorities are working hand in hand with the investigators to shed light on this appalling tragedy. The CIA is leaving me alone for the moment. I suppose they're too busy building another condenser to worry about me. I know they'll never abandon their experiments, now that they know what's on the other side. Honestly, I don't give a damn. Now I need to reconstruct my life. My life without Ida. For as long as I can remember, I dreamt of living without him. Untied, without his constant presence by my side. I got what I wanted. I've never been so unhappy in my life. I feel like part of me has been amputated. Crying all day. I know it's stupid. Shit. I miss him so much. It took months, months of nothing passing by. Then I woke up. I knew it was time, time to start again, to build a new life. It was so obvious. Deep inside, I, I always knew needed the silence around me to hear what I was feeling. It took me a while to realize how much I loved Ryan. I'd been alone and sad for so long. I'd forgotten what it was like to love someone.
We traveled as far away as we could. I had to learn to love again. To put my trust in someone, to stop fighting and running away. In short, I had to learn to live. Ryan and I never talked about it again. As if it all never happened. As if the other side didn't exist. As if it could never come back into our lives. things at night. Terrifying things. I tell myself it's only nightmares, but I know it's not true. Once Pandora's box is open, it can never be closed again. No. It's what is about to happen. I've died twice already. I'm not afraid of death anymore. Well, it was time. Time to start again. To build a new life. so obvious. Deep inside, I, I always knew. I just needed the silence around me to hear what I was feeling. I told Ryan I couldn't see my future with him. We've been through too many difficult times together. At times I want to forget. He said he understood that he'd wait as long as it takes. I know I felt something for him. It just wasn't strong enough.
see things at night. Terrifying things. I tell myself it's only nightmares, but... I know it's not true. Once Pandora's box is open, it can never be closed again. I've died twice already. I'm not afraid of death anymore. I need to start again. To build a new life. It was so obvious. Deep inside, I, I always knew. I just needed the silence around me. To hear what I was feeling. I told Ryan I couldn't see my future with him. We've been through too many difficult times together. Times I want to forget. He said he understood. That he'd wait as long as it takes. I know I felt something for him. It just wasn't strong enough. live a normal life again after all I've been through. Hell, who wants to live a normal life anyway? A boyfriend, a job, counting the days till my next vacation. I wanted it for so long, but I finally realized that that life wasn't for me. So I took to the road. I've seen many rifts to the other side. Hundreds of them all over the country. Homes where strange things happen. Motel rooms that no one ever wants to sleep in again. Entities are all around us. They live in our houses. Sleep in our beds. They're with us every second of every day. I know they're lurking in the shadows. I've missed you. I see things at night. Terrifying things. I tell myself it's only nightmares, but... That's not true. Once Pandora's box is open, it can never be closed again. No. It's not madness. It's what is about to happen. I've died twice already. I'm not afraid of death anymore. to start again, to build a new life. It was so obvious, 
deep inside, I, I always knew. I just needed the silence around me to hear what I was feeling. I told Ryan I couldn't see my future with him. We've been through too many difficult times together. Times I want to forget. He said he understood. That he'd wait as long as it takes. I know I felt something for him. It just wasn't strong enough. They took me in when I was alone when all I could think of was dying. They shared the little they had without knowing me or judging me. Deep down, I knew that my place was there with them. Stan does odd jobs here and there. Jimmy's gone back to school, he's clean now. Tuesday works behind a bar and Walter looks after little Zoe. They're not rolling in money, but they manage. I never told them about my past, and they never asked. They love me for who I am, just some weird chick who talks to spirits. <laughs> Zoe took to me like we'd always known each other. There's something about her big, sad eyes that reminds me of the little girl I once was. I knew she was different from the moment I saw her. We haven't talked about it, but... We both know we have something in common. I see things at night. Terrifying things. I tell myself it's only nightmares, but I know it's not true. The only one who can save the world is a little girl. I have to prepare her. I know I don't have much time. Once Pandora's box is open, it can never be closed again. about to happen.